All right then, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Cock your ears that we are here and listen this. All right. So Donald Tapia, the ambassador to the United States of America or Jamaica, the United States of America ambassador to Jamaica then. Donald Tapia, he in an interview recently said some things publicly and I think it fly over most people's head when he asked, he specifically asked, if China and the U.S. went to war, which umbrella would you be under? And I heard snickering giggles in the background. It was posted by the Gleaner. I don't know who in the background was giggling and thought that was funny. But this is how them people here approach you. You understand what I'm saying? And I think y'all need to be wise. We're going to talk about all this. In just a few minutes right here the video not too long stay around let me say this I have been asked this question before but let me make my point very very clear okay I understand that Jamaica is how it is as far as Jamaica's relationship with China China has invested a whole lot of money into Jamaica Jamaica infrastructure businesses in Jamaica etc 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 not to mention that Jamaica is heavily indebted to China seeing the United States of America has always been around however if you ask most Jamaicans they will say to you that China has done way more for Jamaica than the US has I am not here to dispute that I am just here to say this the same question that he posed to you to all are we are the same question me i gonna ask again so here's the question again if the united states of america went to war with china and this war seems to be inevitable you know meaning this war seems to like it's going to happen one day it's going to happen one day that is my prediction now that one day might not be this year it might not be next year or next five years from now but at some point in close history the united states is going to go to war with with china that is my prediction don't ask me why i think so if you look out there you will see exactly what i'm talking about this is about world domination okay this is about becoming the numero uno the one and that is where it is so the question is when the u.s or if the u.s goes to war with china or china goes to the war with the u.s the two of them in a conflict which side are you picking who are you under what umbrella are you going to be under the funny thing about that question is this is not like some boxing match that's going to be on tv and we get to sit back and say oh I am with the boxer in the red shorts and the next person I say no I'm your side with the boxer in the yellow shorts this is not a Mike Tyson versus Trevor Burbick fight this ain't one of those kind of things this will be a war that will the lines will have to be drawn clear is Jamaica prepared to be noted as an enemy of the United States of America that's the big question is Jamaica prepared to be noted as an enemy of the United States of America? Because you see all this back and forth that's going on and poor little Jamaica caught right there in the middle. And then you have an ambassador, even though he is the outgoing ambassador, I guarantee you that the incoming ambassador shares the same agenda that he does. So for me, his question wasn't just some fly-by-night throw out some words out there to fill empty spaces his question was deliberate so you have to go answer deliberately jamaica no i know a lot of people are gonna say so flow all right then since so be the case you answer that question directly if the u.s goes to war with china what umbrella are you under unless you're new to my channel you would already know what umbrella I am going to be under. When you see me out the road, you can just call me SoFlow TV USA. I'm putting that way there. <laughs> you could just call me SoFlow TV USA. Okay? I did a long time in the United States military. 
I have been to combat wearing the United States military. I am a member of the brotherhood that wears the blue cord and earns a CIB, a combat infantry badge on the battlefield. I am an infantry soldier. Okay, so in layman's terms, I will break it down for you like that. Not to mention the fact that I've been living in the United States of America since I was a small child. And also, all my children, and a six of them have enough, all my children were born and are being raised in the United States of America. Majority of my business is done in the United States of America where I earn a pretty decent living able to afford enough to take care of myself and my family comfortably me never spend chinese money yet you understand what i'm saying and i have never had any intentions of going to visit china yet i know some of you might have had intentions of going to visit china and all this other stuff but i have never had and this is not me having anything against the chinese I was raised partially in Jamaica and I know for a fact that Chinese people have been in Jamaican culture from before I was even born. I went to school with Chinese children. I associated with Chinese children. You understand? So this is not a bash China video, but when it come down to it, if I am asked to draw a clear line and pick a side, me know which side me upon. Right? The question is for you to answer that question in the comment section below. If you, and you don't have to be a Jamaican, because China right now is colonizing almost everywhere and the goal is to colonize Earth and becomes Earth ruler. The numeral one, uno. See? So if you're from any of these Caribbean islands where China has a heavy hand in your island's affairs, whether it be they're there fixing up infrastructure, investing heavily in businesses, uh, or whatever it is, giving foreign aid or whatever it is, loaning money. If it comes down to it, are you going to be on China's side or are you going to pick the other side? That's the real question and I want to see some real honest answers in the comment section below. I saw Flow TV, you know, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. May I keep that one here short because I want the answer them to be long. I'm out. Peace.